Right, rolling. So we're here today at Rotherham Track with Calvin Beatty. Um, how's uh, your winter uh, training going so far, Calvin? Oh, it's been uh, it's been really good, like. Yeah. What? <laughs> what, <laughs> what, what plans have you got from this? <laughs> what, what plans have you got from it from now until um, until sort of the season starts? I hear you're going over to France pretty soon. Yeah, we're going to France with the team for a week. Yeah, what are you going to be doing over there then? So just. Um, well, the race is at the end of the week in uh, St Etienne first and second European round. Oh, I've yeah, got yeah. too much emphasis on that. No. Because uh, with the stage of training I'm at, so I just want to go out and get my feet wet again, race because it's been a while, and uh, just have a good time and, and get back into racing again. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So I can be with the team and and uh, just ride some good tracks before. And so. so you're going to be you just doing the race out in St Etienne, or you're going to be doing riding some tracks yeah. out there? Yeah, we're going to go on the Monday, tr uh, get a few bit few hours in on the tracks and stuff around there, good tracks. Yeah, good And then uh, head over to race on the Friday. And, cool. And uh, hopefully, well, yeah, I feel, I feel quite good, even for the stage of training, I'm feeling pretty good, so, yeah. I mean, anything can happen in BMX, but, yeah, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm going into the race pretty confident. Good man, good yeah. man. So, what, what's the plan after France then? Um, have a good Christmas and then head out to America on the 27th of December, and then uh, train out there. Get some good gate practicing with with the riders out there and some good gym work and stuff. Nice weather, and uh, then by the time I'm coming back, that's when I really want to start and it's some good form. And uh, so yeah. is that is that um, like a, the Olympic squad thing, or are you going out on your own? No, I'm, I'm going out on my own. You stopping uh, at dh.com? Yeah, he's always <laughs> I, he's always t said to me like if I ever need a place to stay out there, you know I can stay with him. He's always been great with me, even at the worlds he was. You know, it was it wasn't his capacity to do it, but he was still there giving me advice before the finals, and yeah. and I really appreciate. It. He's always been a good friend to me, so it's going to be good and look forward to it. It's good to have. So, what what's the situation with uh, your team for next year? Are you thrashing any deals at the moment? Or? <sighs> Nothing's really sorted at the minute, but um, yeah, as long as something's sorted by the time we go to America, then then uh, I'll be happy with that. I mean, I, I always I always like to be with a, a good bike company, and Fraser's been great this year. Yeah. So we'll see. I'll see if something happens again with them next year, and and uh, we'll just wait and see, really. Yeah. So, um, so what's your sort of main focus from now until before the Olympics? Are you... Well, the main thing is to qualify first. Yeah. So uh, it's all on the world. Get so a good re get a good result on the world. Get one of those six places that are left, and uh, yeah, I'll, that's the main goal. Qualify for the Olympics, but. I really want to make getting that world's main on the 20 inch. I've done it now on the cruiser and make be on the podium. I want to start and do it on the 20 inch now and and uh, prove my worth on that. So that's a big aim for me next year. I know I can do it because I've done it. I've been on the world's podium. I've been out there with the top riders. So you know I've just got to do it on the 20 inch now. So we'll see. Well, Calvin, thanks for talking to us today. No problem. Best to look for uh, for the rest of the, the winter training and next year, and obviously hope to see you on the gate in the Olympics. Yeah. Uh, any any final sort of words to say or any thank yous? Uh, ben, I'd just like to say thanks for thanks for the interview and and uh, all the years of uh, your company at Sunday dinner was was brilliant <laughs> and uh, yeah for being a long time friend and and com compadre as they say. <laughs> I'd just, I'd just like to add to that and say thanks to Kath and Jim. For like the not the cracking Sunday dinners and Calvin for the spaghetti bolognese as well. Yeah. Thanks, Calvin. I'll speak Thanks. to you soon. Yeah. Cheers.